Hey guys, this is TMF Style. I'm Jose Zaniga. And for this week's video, I wanted to do my second part on Gentleman Essentials. So I had completely forgotten. I had done a video already on six essentials for every gentleman. I have the link below and that's part one. And I had promised I was going to bring you another set of essentials. So here it is. Here's part two of essentials every gentleman should have. The first one is a fun tie. So I mentioned in my previous video that you need one good tie staple. And if you see our Zaniga collection, they're all very, you know, solid classic ties if you want to say it you know those are very corporate america ties and they're appropriate for the office and also evening wear but i think one fun fun tie is essential for the more dressed down outfits for outfits you know where you want to show a little bit more character and not be so serious so that's essential number one essential number two will be a leather briefcase now it doesn't matter you know briefcases range from a, a lot of options so these two that you see right now these are actually from Castel de Varg, a company that we've reviewed since we started TMF because we love their products. They're handmade in the USA and we love that. So, you know, th these briefcase, I would say they're more for the student, but I think a leather briefcase or some type of satchel is essential. You know, if you're a student, you want to hold your, your products in something that looks nice, um, your, your, your MacBook, your iPad, whatever it may be. And obviously, if you work in the office, you're going to want something better than a backpack to walk into the office, which that's where this Opperman London would come in. Again, a beautiful briefcase, and I think it's essential. It doesn't matter what age you are. Once you enter a manhood, you're going to want a good briefcase. That's essential number two. Essential number three is a good dress shirt. Now, in the, in the previous video, I had said a white dress shirt. I think the next shirt that you need is a blue dress shirt, a blue Oxford to be exactly. And especially if it's a button down, it's great because these you can dress up, you know, with a nice suit. And you can also bring it all the way down with some shorts, some sneakers, roll up the sleeves, and it looks great. So a, a good dress shirt is always nice to have. And this one's actually from Nordstrom. Nordstrom carries really nice shirts and they have a, a good wide range of, uh, of price variability. So, and they're a good quality. So you should check out Nordstrom if you're gonna check out shirts and the fit is an exception. The next is a watch. Now I mentioned all the time, a gentleman needs a good watch and their wardrobe. And you know, you can, it doesn't matter what price range you get, as long as it's nice, it's simple, and it looks good. So for example, if you want a good, you know, lower price watch, I would suggest Daniel Wellington. It's a very simple piece. I discussed in my review with Daniel Wellington why it's such a good piece. It's versatile. You can use it with a lot of things and it's minimalistic. I love that. Or you can go with something a little bit higher. Like um, I reviewed a C for example, not too long ago. You know, it's an automatic watch. It's around $500. And you know it looks good, and again, it's very versatile. And I'm actually wearing it right now. So it do, you know it doesn't matter as long as you get a good looking, nice piece. And try to shy away from those like big face diesel watches, and you know those are, like those really robust, unnecessary watches. You know it brings attention to where attention is not needed. And not only that, it just doesn't look appropriate with a suit or when you're trying to dress up. So you want to you know hit a versatile piece that you can wear it all the time. And finally is a pair of sneakers. Now I, I'm, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but you're going to want a good pair of sneakers. And I mentioned it uh, actually in my previous video when I talked about Frank and Oak, that if you look at my collection, they're almost all white. And that's what I would recommend. You know, I've heard people recommend black sneakers. I've heard, you know, different types, but I think white is essential. Reason being is it just, it's a very clean look. And actually with age and with, you know, wear and, and, and dirt and, and stuff like that, it adds character to the sneaker. So it doesn't, you, you don't necessarily have to keep it pearly white, the, the life of the sneaker. And on top of that, I think a canvas sneaker to be more exact is, is should be your first essential sneaker. You know, you could dress it up with a cotton suit. You could dress it down with sh uh, shorts. doesn't matter what you're wearing, but a good canvas white sneaker is essential. So that's it for this week, guys. Those are the five essentials, a fun tie, a leather briefcase, an Oxford, a blue shirt, a watch, and sneakers. So that's it, the five essentials every gentleman needs. This is for you guys that are trying to start building your wardrobe and you're, you, you wanna be guided into classics that you're gonna be using two, three, five years from now. So that's it for this week, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe.